mentoring, it does change lives. Mentoring, it does change life, lives. <coughs> Tim Wallace. This is a child's brain. <laughs> Not literally, don't worry. It's just a seed. But like a seed, if you give a child's mind care, nourishment, and love, then it will grow into something strong, beautiful, and well rounded. Madam Contest Chair, fellow Toastmasters, and honored guests. Back in November of 2013, I was sitting in my home watching YouTube videos. And we all know how it goes when you watch YouTube videos. One minute you're looking at an insightful documentary, and the next you're watching random videos about cats. <laughs> I don't know what it is about cats. Well, that night I came across a video that would dramatically change my life. It was titled, Saddest Boy Ever. In the video, there's a little boy on the Jenny Jones show. He was one of those kids that had been giving his mother a hard time. During the video, there was a drill instructor yelling at the boy. After he got done yelling, he asked the young man, do you want me to be your daddy for the next eight years? Expecting him to say no, but instead he says yes. It completely shocks the drill instructor who then asks, why do you want me to be your daddy? He responds, I have no daddy, and begins to cry. Hearing that statement struck something inside me because I lost my father at a very young age and know only too well the pain that kind of life brings. I immediately began to research youth mentoring programs in the area and found that there was a local chapter of the Big Brothers Big Sisters program right here in Ventura County. Presently, I'm mentoring two amazing little boys. The youngest of the two, like myself when I was his age, very energetic, very smart, a little bit of a rough houser, but overall a great young man. I still remember the first time that I went to go visit him. We were playing a game of Connect Four, and I remember saying to myself, eh, I'll take it easy on him, you know, boost up his confidence a little bit. He whoops me <laughs> three games in a row, even when I'm trying my hardest. The second time that I went to go see him, I was walking towards the classroom that we all meet up in, and he spots me. And he starts running towards me, full speed, arms spread wide open, yelling, Timmy! And this little munchkin gives me this great big hug. And I remember the feeling of positivity that came over me. So it made such a huge impact on him after only one visit. About halfway through the school year, I began to mentor his older brother, who is very kind, very smart, and like myself when I was his age, a little bit of an introvert. Recently, I had the opportunity to speak to their mother about their life, and a lot of those similarities in their behavior began to make more sense to me. Like myself, their father does not play a huge role in their life, and like me, they possess a craving deep down in their hearts to fill that void. I knew that by helping the two of them, it would be like helping the little boy inside of me that's still dealing with the issues and wounds of his own childhood. Well, I'm very happy to report that the small investment in time that I've given to the two of them has resulted in great improvements in both academics and behavior, reassuring me that a small investment in time can pay huge dividends. Because I plan on mentoring for the rest of my life, I thought that it would be important to do a little bit of research on the subject. During my research, I found that children that meet regularly with a mentor are 52% less likely to skip a day of school. 37% less likely to skip a class, 46% less likely to try illegal drugs, and 27% less likely to try alcohol. And those numbers come from a study done by the Big Brothers Big Sisters program. So if what I've said so far has inspired you to become a youth mentor, then I have two organizations that you can look into. The first is the organization that I'm a part of, which is the Big Brothers Big Sisters program. I do what's called Lunchtime Buddies, where I go to a local elementary school once a week for 30 to 45 minutes. We play games, do activities, and talk about ways that we can improve our lives. You can also choose to pick your little brother or sister up from their home and take them out. It all depends on what's best for you, the parents, and of course the child. Another great organization is the Boys and Girls Club. Their volunteers meet for a few hours a week, promoting healthy lifestyles, building good character and citizenship, and improving children's academic success. 
These are two great organizations that are always looking for more volunteers. It was Benjamin Disraeli who said that the greatest good that you can do for another is not just share your riches, but reveal to them their own. By a show of hands, who among you believe that you have some words of wisdom, or lessons learned from life experiences, or just general useful knowledge you feel would be beneficial to a child? With that, I will end this by saying that I personally believe that we have an obligation to help these children. We all have our careers and other obligations, but can we truly tell ourselves that we do not have an hour every week or every other week to change the life of a child? I apologize if my comments make anyone feel uncomfortable or offended, but when I hear and witness some of the issues that are facing our youth today, like gun violence, obesity, bullying, and suicide, I can't help but feel the sudden urge to want to get out and do something. I think back to my own childhood. I can only imagine where my older brother, who happens to be incarcerated, and I would be today if we had been taught in our lives while growing up. A positive figure to fill the void left by the passing of our father. Someone to tell us that we could accomplish anything that we set our minds to. Someone to play sports with, to go fishing, to tell us that they were proud of us. Will you fill that void for them? Will you give them the care, nourishment, and love they need to grow into the strong, beautiful, and well-rounded adults we all deserve the opportunity to become? I promise you that it will be just as rewarding for you as it is for them. Now, I promise you.